All right, so which way do I go? There's a, there's a sign, uh, but I don't, to be honest, I don't know which way is to the beach. I think there's a beach here. Taking a trail uh, that I've, I've been here once before, but I had to turn around because it was so wet. And so it's finally drying up. Last time I was here, you, it just was basically impossible to pass. And I'm going for this little hike because I wanted a place where it's nice and quiet. So I can test out this new wireless microphone system here that I've got from uh, Synco. This, I already reviewed one of their systems before, but uh, well, let's just say it had, a, had its problems. After watching that video, they sent me their new version and they were like, please Tom, please test it out. I promise you, uh, we fixed all the problems that we had with the number one. All right, there's another split here in the road. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go to the left. And there's like parts in here that look like a straight out jungle from the Jungle Book. But it is beautiful actually in here. It's, uh, it's like an interesting landscape. There's a lot of pine trees, pal palmettos, a lot of them, uh, and some cypress. Not too many oaks or anything like that. I think I'm getting close because as you can see, it's more of these kind of mangroves, these little shrubs. The ground is getting wet and uh, to be honest, I'm not sure which way to pass, but I hear motorboats, so I guess I'm close to the water. All right, I made it to the beach. What? Slippery here. Well, it's not really a beach, it's more like kind of a muddy thing. I'm guessing at high tide, this was underwater right now. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of like this mud. <laughs> but you know what, I think we'll have to do. I'm gonna test out the mics here. Well, right there, right now, a, a fish. Oh, again, a fish, just, just, they're just jumping out of the water. And, uh, and then there's birds over there, but they're also kind of, I guess they're waiting for the fish. So first I'm gonna test out this uh, system at different distances, uh, see how it performs. By the way, I'm using the one that has the one transmitter. This is the Synco G2 A1. There's also Synco G2 uh, A2, which is basically just has a slightly bigger case and it has two uh, transmitters, the two microphones. Uh, but you know, they both are rated to work at the same distance. So anyways, I'm gonna walk back and let's see how well it works. Slippery here today. <laughs> All right, according to Google Earth, I am uh, 46 feet away from the camera. This is how it sounds. I mean, it should have no issues connecting at this distance. There's really nothing, no interference between us. Um, now, I wonder if it's gonna start cutting out if I turn around. Right now, the transmitter is basically going through my body and I'm gonna turn back to the camera. Uh, so yeah, again, you guys can hear right now better and see how it performs. Anyways, let me walk further. <laughs> oh man, okay, I keep on sliding on this thing because it's not a beach. I thought this was gonna be a nice quiet beach. Plus, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's all these fish jumping like crazy. Uh, anyways, let's see what the distance is here. So I am right now 100 feet uh, away from the camera, 100 feet away. This is how it sounds, direct line of sight. And actually it's pretty damn windy right now. So hopefully this uh, little microphone uh, windshield is doing its job. All right, and let me turn around now again and see the so sideways. So the, it's not like perfect line of sight, uh, but now I'm gonna turn my back and let's see if that so, and now this is again direct line of sight at uh, 100 feet away from the camera. Let me go further. All right, the fish are going crazy. I am 180 feet away from the camera and, uh, and I'm basically in a swamp. I thought again, I thought this would be a nice sandy beach. <laughs> oh my God, my, my flip flops are stuck in the mud. <laughs> Oh my God, okay, they're really getting stuck. So I don't think I can stay here for too long. Plus there might be alligators here. Actually, there was a warning that there's alligators in this area. So, so I should probably get out of here, but this is again, 180 feet, uh, direct line of sight. This is how it sounds. And now I'm gonna turn around with my back, if I can. It's <laughs> my flip getting stuck. Okay, that was me with my back turned around. And 
Okay. All right, let's go back to the camera. Wait. Oh my God, I almost fell down. <laughs> Whew, let's maybe go and find a nicer area that's a bit more dry. So I'm 130 feet right now. <laughs> 130 feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I make it out of here without landing on this mud, then I'll be very happy. All right, so anyways, as you guys could see, I got all the way up to 180 feet. Uh, let's go find somewhere more dry where I can kind of show you and kind of talk about the details of the system. All right, I made it out of the swamp and uh, we get another split in the road. You know, I'm just gonna stick and keep on going left. It worked out before me, well, sort of worked out before, so hopefully it keeps on working out. All right, I found somewhere in shade, somewhere I can sit down and, and talk about this. So anyways, I got the Synco G2 that I'm still using. So basically all the audio in this video is used through this new little unit, uh, except right now I'm using their uh, included lav mic. So I have it up here and it just plugs into the, the transmitter. So it's kind of nice that they include the lav mic. Uh, and it's the same for when you get the, the single unit, meaning with the one transmitter uh, or the, the double unit, which is this one. And as you'll notice, like the cases for both of these, this is the Synco G2 A1. This is the Synco G2 A2. I mean, it has two units. It's just slightly longer case because it has an extra transmitter. And it's kind of nice that they give you these cases. You know, everything kind of fits in there. Uh, you have all the cables. And actually some of the things that I like about this is that they include, like I said, the lav. If you get the, the version with the two transmitters, you get two labs. Uh, you got the windscreens for the labs too. You even get uh, uh, this USB-C uh, cable that you basically use this to charge. So you plug each of these things here on the side you have uh, for plugging in the USB-C. But what's nice is that you basically have one cable. You plug that to your USB uh, and then you plug these three ends to your, like I said, if you have the double unit, you have the two, two transmitter, one receiver, or the other one just comes with this. Um, so that's kind of nice. They give you also, like I said, all the, the windscreens for uh, the actual uh, microphone slash transmitters so you can uh, kind of pr protect the built-in microphone from the wind and that is uh, just kind of attaches very similar to like the, the original Rode uh, wireless go uh, which is not the best way maybe like as you can see it's if I uh, if I pull too much on it it will actually fall off so I wish this was kind of a better better way to kind of maybe click it in there or something something like what the Rode improved on their version 2 um, you also get uh, the audio cables. So you get basically a, a TRRS audio cable and TRRS, uh, you know, the one for mobile devices, uh, audio cable. So you have both of them and it has a little bungee to here so you can adjust the length of this. Now the system is rated uh, open line of sight. It's supposed to work at almost 500 feet, uh, but uh, in direct line of sight, uh, they're rating it at 164, I think, feet. But it doesn't have, for example, like the Rode Wireless Go 2, it doesn't have any internal recordings that you can do, like basically backup recordings. Now, if you don't care about that and you want to save yourself a lot of money, this is almost, well, it's going to be almost like half the price of the Rode uh, system, then uh, this is definitely something to look into. And like I said, there's the the A1, which has the one transmitter. I think this is like a hundred something dollars. Or the A2 uh, with the two transmitters and the one receiver that uh, that is around $200. But again, the prices do always change. So for the latest prices and at the different places that you can find it at, uh, just check out the, the links in the description of the video. Now, as far as the build, uh, it's very similar to the previous version of this or to the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, and many of these other sort of compact wireless microphone systems. So you've got a pairing button up here on one side uh, of the transmitter, which honestly uh, I've never had to use because they just automatically seem to pair up. But you have it there, I guess, if you ever do, you know, kind of lose signal. Uh, you have a high pass filter. And then uh, on the other side, you have your power button, which also doubles as the mute button. And you have a USB-C connection so you can uh, charge the, the transmitter. And you have a little mic in, it's a three and a half millimeter mic, so you can plug in the lavalier microphone that's included, or you can also use any other lavalier microphone that you might already have. Uh, and then on the top here, you have your microphone capsule and you, you can attach your windscreen there. Now, it does have a color LCD, but to be honest, that's, I would say, the one negative thing about this thing is that 
that LCD, I mean, it's nice because you can see exactly what's happening. Um, you know, if you're paired or not, if you're on mute and, and things like that, uh, how much battery you have left, which by the way, the battery in this lasts around eight hours. It takes around an hour and a half to fully charge it. Uh, so it's nice, it will work basically for a whole day of shooting. Uh, the problem with the LCD is that, uh, like right now, I can see what's happening, but if you're in sunlight or any kind of basically where it's a little bit too bright, like sort of an environment, uh, then you will have huge problems seeing this LCD. You basically just have to like go like this, cover all the light from reflecting, so to be able to, to actually see this. Now, thank God, like I said, other than really turning it on, making sure it's paired, you don't really need to look at the screen, you don't need to use it. So, uh, But that's just something to be aware of. On the back here, you do have a little clip, just like all the other systems, so you can clip it to, um, it fits on a, a cold shoe mount or a hot shoe mount of any camera. Uh, or, you know, here on your shirt. Now, as far as the receiver, uh, it's the same size, also nice and compact uh, and not too heavy. Uh, you, you're gonna have your uh, out connection, so three and a half millimeters, so you can uh, send that signal out to your camera, mobile device. You have your headphone jack, so you can monitor the audio before it goes to your camera. You also have your power slash mute button, and that's right next to USB-C connection for uh, charging the, the, the receiver. Uh, and then on the other side here, you have your volume buttons for channel A and B, so you can independently adjust the volume. And that's sort of the one cool thing also that I like about the system is that if you uh, have the two transmitters connecting to one receiver, uh, you can have it all mixed, you know, so it's all on the same on the same both channels. But obviously, you pr probably uh, always better off to record each mic on a different channel. So one is going to be on the left, the other one on the right. Uh, and this way here, you can independently adjust the volume for each mic. So if one person speaks louder, the other one softer, you can kind of adjust it, get the best uh, audio levels for each of the mics. So the G2 uh, definitely has some nice improvements over their previous version. And also, I think it's, it's a pretty good deal when you consider the price of this compared to like the Rode Wireless Go or some of the other compact wireless microphone systems. As always, if you guys want more information, whether it's about this system or maybe you want to see the review of the Rode Wireless Go or the previous version of the, the Synco and also a whole bunch of other filmmaking gear reviews, filmmaking tutorials and that kind of stuff, then as always, check out my website, tomantasfilms.com. And also don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a comment down below uh, if you got any questions or, you know, just let me know, share your thoughts of what you thought of this video or of the system. That's it. My name is Tom and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.